Kevin's Guessy TV. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I am doing a Chelsea shirt haul. I am so excited for this video. I have done a video like this and um, many years ago it went down really well you guys really enjoyed it i've got many more chelsea shirts to add to the collection so i'm back with another chelsea shirt haul today which i'm so excited about i've got a lot of chelsea shirts to get through and um, so yeah i hope you enjoy it and also guys i've got lots of new videos coming up in this new week coming so make sure to stay tuned for that but today let's get into the video so guys this is in no particular order i'll just keep going through them all and also make sure to comment down below your favorite favorite Chelsea shirts and let me know if you have got any of these shirts so guys my dad has two Chelsea shirts so I will show you them first and um, so this one is absolutely lovely isn't it and um, Samsung mobile and um, yeah this is my dad's shirt and um, he has two as I said and um, so that was his and then a Fly Emirates one. Now this is one of my favourite shirts actually. I absolutely love this shirt and I absolutely love the badge as well. It's so classy. I love it. And the little CFC on the back. It's so nice. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, my dad doesn't really wear his shirts at all anymore. So I tend to wear them. <laughs> Um, Chelsea Retro. This is one of my favourite Chelsea Retro shirts. It's really special. I've had it for many years now. Um, I actually wore it for our last game before lockdown. Um, Everton at home I wore this shirt. Um, it's really lovely. It's a very special shirt to me. I absolutely love it. Now this shirt I absolutely love and it reminds me of Huddersfield Away um, because when we played Huddersfield Away, was it two seasons ago something like that and um, this is the shirt i wore for that game and um, i absolutely love it yellow is such a nice color i absolutely love it it makes me feel so happy um and it's got kante on the back and i absolutely love kante so it's a really special shirt and as i said if i'm ever feeling a bit down i love to put my yellow shell shirt on um i did actually wear it midweek this week because i was feeling a bit sad um whacked on a yellow chelsea shirt and it made me feel a little bit happier because i love the color yellow um now this is another Chelsea Retro shirt. I actually really like it. I love um, the badge on it as well, and I like the colours. It's just some, it's just a bit different. Now I would love like the Chelsea Retro to come in um, for a season as an actual Chelsea shirt because I know it's like as they are now, but I just love the Retro badge and stuff. It's just so nice, and I'll talk about the FA Cup shirt in a minute but yeah I just love it and I'd love a badge like that to make a return you know it's so lovely it's like a polar top material and um, it's not the most comfortable shirt I've ever worn but it is really nice so I'm not complaining um now this is the Chelsea FA Cup shirt and for them to bring this back this season to me just meant the world to me my boyfriend actually got me this shirt for my birthday it was very expensive but it's definitely worth it I've got number eight on the back because that's my favorite number obviously Oscar wore it one of my favourite Chelsea players as well as number 11 and Frank Lampard wore it so it's really special to me and I love the yellow combined with the blue and um, yellow is one of my favourite colours well blue is my favourite top colour but yellow as well I just love that colour so blue against yellow is just so sexy <laughs> um so yeah now this is a really nice shirt it's got Oscar out on the back as I said he was my favourite player and number eight is my favourite um number so um i really like this one I, I wasn't ever so sure about the buttoned up on the front it's like quite strange i've never really had anything like that before and um, but i like that and the red for the chelsea pensioners i just love it yokohama tires love it um now that's just a chelsea training jumper um now this is one of my favourite shirts, the shirt we um, won the FA, sorry not the FA Cup, the shirt we won the Champions League in and it's got Lampard 8 on the back. Lampard used to be one of my favourite players, um, I absolutely loved him as a player and so obviously it was a dream for me when he came back as the Chelsea manager, it was great. And um, so yeah, I absolutely love this shirt and I love the stripes on it, it's so nice. I just find nowadays though that some of the shirts are just too similar to each season so if they bring out the new Chelsea shirt and it's the same as last season it just feels a little bit like obviously because I'm a student it's like quite expensive to go and buy a new shirt every season so I haven't actually bought one for a while and it's just simply because as I said it's quite expensive and some seasons are not actually that much different to the season before so yeah but anyways I like this shirt however i remember the quality of it being really poor like, i don't know if you can see but my shirt like really clicked a lot and 
it's never really happened with any other material shirt I've had before. Um, but yeah, the quality was just awful this last season. Sorry to slate that Chelsea shirt. I do love the actual shirt, but the quality of the material was ridiculous for the price as well. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's just got loads of clicks in it, so that was really annoying. Um, but Oscar 11 on the back, we love that. Um, but yeah, and I like the V-neck, that's quite nice. But as I said, just it just the clicks, it was just awful. I just, yeah. Um, oh, and I've got an Oscar 8 t-shirt. We love that. It was my favourite player. Um, oh, and like the Chelsea women's clothes. I love that. That was like the mega star. Um, oh, I love this shirt. Oscar 8 on the back. I love that um, lining at the top. It was just really nice. It just made the back more interesting rather than it just being completely blue. Um, yeah, and I like the stripes on it. I've got the Premier League badges on the side that season as well. Um, so yeah, I really like her. These shirts seem really big actually. Um, and then I've got a training shirt again. I used to love the training tops. Well, I still do. Um, but yeah, as I said, I just can't afford them nowadays. Um, Ooh. Um, yeah, and then this is like a um, a Capital One Cup final top, rolled to Wembley. I really like that top. They were all at the mega store. Um, and then like another Chelsea women's top, the blues. <laughs> Guys, it's like a massive heat mounting up over there. And I know after this video, I'm going to have to sort it all out. Oh, this is so cute. This is one of my special Chelsea shirts. I was, this was, I think... No, this is my second ever Chelsea shirt. Emma Ray on the back. It's absolutely tiny, this kit. It's adorable. With the red collars as well. That was one of my favourite Chelsea shirts. It's so lovely. I can't wait to find my actual first ever Chelsea shirt. Oh, and then just like a, again, just like a Chelsea trading top kind of thing with the badge on. That was actually off my cousin um, because he like did some training stuff with Chelsea or something. Um, and then training top. I absolutely love this. The colour of this is so beautiful. It's like a light blue, like slash mint green. It's so pang. Um, and Adidas on the back. We love that. Right, this is my first ever Chelsea shirt. How cute is that? It's so small. I didn't get a name on the back, but that's absolutely adorable. <laughs> and then we have just like some more like Chelsea shirts at the actual mega store. Oh, and then just um, a basic blue tee with the logo on the front. We love that. But yeah, that is all my Chelsea shirts as far as I know. I've maybe got some somewhere else, but I think I saw them. And um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If anything, <laughs> it was just a real quick one. I do hope you enjoyed it, guys. But that is all my Chelsea shirts. Um, it was really nice to go through them actually. It brings back memories, and also I love the tiny little ones from when I was a small ch small Chelsea fan. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, I love you all. As I said, there's going to be many more videos coming up on my channel during this period, guys. Um, I am actually thinking of doing something similar to Match of the Day. Now, on Match of the Day, I've been watching what they've been doing recently. And they've been doing like top five goalkeepers and stuff and just looking back over the time. Um, and I'm thinking of doing that with my boyfriend. The video went down really well with Tom the other day when we were talking about if the season should be void or not. You guys love to seem, you seem to like, like, the format and how it went um i mean maybe the audio quality and stuff wasn't the greatest but again that's just like the skype call there's nothing i can really do about that but it's just good i really enjoyed doing it as well so we're thinking of doing like five episodes together we do like our all-time favorite goalkeeper midfielder with chelsea and stuff like that if you've got any suggestions of what you would like to see comment below but we're thinking of doing like our five top um, Chelsea goalkeepers, five top Chelsea midfielders, defenders, strikers in the last like 10 years. Um, we're thinking of doing something like that. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I have also got another Q&A coming up, but I just want to hold that back a little bit because I did put out a post on the social media um, last weekend and I got like 10, 11 questions. But when I, like to do, when I do a q and I like to make it quite long and get as many questions in as as I possibly can. So I might put out another few posts on my socials to see how many more questions I get and then do a Q&A. But as I said, I just want lots of questions to make it worthwhile and long if you get what I'm saying. Um, so yes, I will put out a f more posts. If you do want to get involved in that, make sure to head over to my socials, MCSC TV, MRHCSC on Instagram, 
Facebook, um, and then obviously I've got an Emirates CFC Twitter, um, but I haven't got a channel Twitter, I just never have. Um, but yeah, so make sure to stay tuned for all that coming up. There's plenty more content coming, um, and obviously there will hopefully be start to be a decision made about if the Premier League's going to be continued or whatever, so I will be discussing that in more depth. Um, I also want to talk more in depth about some of the scenarios that have been suggested about players wearing masks and stuff. I did discuss it a little bit in my Skype call with Tom the other day, but I want to go into it in more depth and how I feel about that. And again, that could be via a Skype call. If you guys do want to get in, like involved in any of my videos, also make sure to let me know. I'll, I could even do Skype calls with fans. There's so much videos I could do, and I just want to deliver as much good quality content for you guys as I can. As I said, there's no football on at the moment, so we've kind of got to work with what we've got, but I will try and make some entertaining videos that you guys will enjoy. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. Happy Sunday. I hope you're keeping safe and well, guys, and I hope all your loved ones, family and friends are all keeping safe and well. Um, we've just got to try and remain as positive as possible through this time haven't we and just support everyone around us and um, but yeah i love you all thank you for tuning in and up the channels thanks